Hi, this is Adam with Sakari, and in this video, we'll walk through how to add contacts in bulk to the Sakari text messaging system. To get started, we'll click Contacts in the left navigation. Now we'll click the Upload Contacts button to get a template. This is the main interface to be able to upload your contacts in Sakari, and you can get a template to get started by clicking the Click Here button. This will download the CSV file to give you an example file to get started. So I've downloaded the sample file, and let's walk through it. When adding contacts to Sakari, there are only two required fields to be able to create a contact. The first is the country code, and the second is the mobile phone number. Within the upload file, if you don't include a country code, the system will automatically apply the default country code set when you're uploading your file, and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. We do encourage, though, that you add the country code, and Sakari supports both the ISO 2 as well as ISO 3 country codes. So for the US, that will be US or USA. I'll include a link in the description to a full list of country codes. Beyond the country code and the mobile phone number, you can also add unlimited custom attributes. And these are great because they allow you to both organize your data, but then also personalize your text messages with things like first name and roles. In this example, we've added first and last name, their email address, their job, their height, attribute X, and attribute Z. And when adding custom attributes, there's no requirement that all of your contacts have this attribute. So if the value isn't, doesn't apply, just simply leave it null. In addition to custom attributes, you can also add tags. And tags are a great way of being able to organize your data. You can incorporate tags into your filtering criteria to be able to send your messages to very specific groups within your contacts. When you're uploading tags, the fields are piped to limited. So in this first example, the contact will have just a single tag added of SF branch, whereas the contact below it will have three. The first will be fall 2018 promo, the second will be SF branch, and the third will be SF. So I've completed my file, and now I need to save it. The Sakari system only supports a CSV file format. To save a file as a CSV, go to File, Save As, and make sure you select a CSV file format and save your file. Now I'll upload my data by clicking the Upload Contacts button and dragging my file over. And there are three additional options. The first is the default country code. Had I left any countries null, the system will automatically apply my default country code of the United States. In addition, there's a toggle to be able to remove data not present in upload. This is a great way of being able to edit your contacts very quickly. If you upload information for contacts that already exists and you turn this on, it will automatically remove any existing data for that contact and replace it with this new file upload information. The final is a, a way to be able to opt in your contacts to your messaging. With a typical text message structure, the first time a contact receives a text message from you, they will receive an introductory text message that tells them who the message is from, with what frequency to expect text messages from you, and how to opt out. If you toggle this on, that message will not be sent. It's a requirement by law that all contacts have opted into messaging from you, so you want to be very careful with this toggle. I now need to map my column names to expected values in the Sakari system. There are five core attributes, and they're mobile, phone number, last name, email, and country. And the system is automatically configured to recognize common variations of these. But if they're incorrect, you can simply go to the pull-down and properly map the column to the expected value. In addition, we can see the custom attributes that we've added earlier. If you need to delete a column, you can simply click the ignore button and that column will not be uploaded. If you want to see example data as it's been mapped, you can toggle left and right to the sample data and see exactly what's being mapped into each column. This looks good, so I'll click upload. During the upload process, there are multiple levels of validation that occur. The first is around duplicates. If the system sees duplicates, it will remove one of the values. In addition, 
there are several levels of phone number validation that occur. I've now uploaded my information. Any records with incorrect phone numbers will automatically be flagged with a red exclamation point, and those can be fixed by editing the record and adjusting the country code or phone number respectively.